Apple released its brand new operating system for iPhone and iPad users. Ashley Zavala shows us some of those new features iPhone users can expect. Thanks, Dick and Juliet. Apple boasted the iOS 8 as the biggest update since the, op since the creation of the App Store. I downloaded the new operating system, and here are some of the highlights of those new features. First thing iPhone users will notice is the changes to the keyboard. Based off of your texting history, the keyboard will try to guess what you're about to type. So there you see, I'm texting my mom, I miss her, and my iPhone knows it. Also, in iMessaging, in addition to sending a traditional text, you can actually send an audio message by just clicking on the microphone icon on the right. Pretty cool. Not sure if I'd ever use that, but it's a cool addition. My absolute favorite new feature is the ability to now take selfies on a timer. Instead of holding your phone, trying to angle your hand correctly to get a selfie, you can just set the phone down, set the timer for five or 10 seconds, and make selfie magic. It's not just for selfies though. You can take any kind of photo with the new shutter timer feature. So Dick and Juliet, it took about an hour to download onto my phone, but it was worth the wait, I think. Well, they've had timers on cameras for decades, so it's, that's, <laughs> that's a good feature to add to it. Well, move over ALS Ice Bucket Challenge. There's a new challenge taking over social media. Ashley Zavala explains on what's trending. Ashley? Thanks, Dick and Juliet. The ALS Ice Bucket Challenge raised so much money for Lou Gehrig's disease and inspired a Philadelphia area family to start a challenge of their own. Kelly and Bill Barber created the Lemon Shot Challenge to raise awareness for pediatric cancer. Their four-year-old Brielle has beaten cancer once and now has it again with the development of a tumor on her brain. The Lemon Shot Challenge is very similar in format to that of the ALS Ice Bucket Challenge. It consists of taking a shot, as you see here, of lemon juice, posting the video to social media, and donating to Alex's Lemonade Stand, a foundation that raises money to help children fight cancer. So far, the Lemon Shot Challenge has raised $20,000, according to the website. High-profile Philadelphia athletes have already participated. Members of the Philadelphia Eagles, as you saw in that last shot, took their lemon shots. Members of the Phillies baseball team and Flyers hockey team have also taken part in the cause. So, Dick and Juliet, right now the challenge has made a small dent in the East Coast. It would be awesome if it became a social media epidemic like the ALS Ice Bucket Challenge. I don't know if you could expect that, but it's it's already raised quite a bit of money. It has. And so another, great reason, idea. another reason I'm proud to be from Philadelphia. A nice little are. A nice little thing going on there. <laughs> One of college football's best current quarterbacks continues to get himself in trouble. Florida State announced it will suspend its Heisman winner, Jameis Winston, after he stood on a table on FSU's campus screaming obscenities and expletives. Winston's suspension is for just the first half of FSU's game against Clemson Saturday night. This is not Winston's first public infraction. He is currently the center of the school's investigation of a sexual assault that took place in 2012. He was also caught stealing crab legs from a grocery store in May. FSU's investigation of the alleged Winston sexual assault. Meanwhile, closer to us, the University of Missouri Student Association produced this video that you're seeing right now featuring students and faculty speaking out against sexual violence. The video titled Enough is Enough was shared through a letter to all Mizzou students. The MSA used the video to encourage students to attend Safe Mizzou, an event designed to create a safer community at the university. Thank you, Dick and Juliet. The YouTube song Sensation, What Does the Fox Say? had 448 million views within a year. The Norwegian duo Ilvis wants to follow up their 2013 hit with a new one titled Trucker's Hitch. The music video shows members of the duo struggling to make the trucker's hitch not. The protagonists share instances in which the trucker's hitch could be used. Thanks to textbooks and an instructional YouTube video, as you're seeing here, they figure it out. It's pretty entertaining, and we'll tweet out a link later on this morning. Also very entertaining, Blake Griffin doing some YouTubing, some poetry of his own. Vizio teamed up with the Clippers Power Forward to make videos of him reciting poems about mouth guards, tearaway pants, and bobbleheads. Griffin's poetry is actually pretty thoughtful. His delivery is hilarious and it's worth a watch. I'll